Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Spanwise Flow by Skyferret. A hammer map involving mostly light bridges. The theme is reconstruct combined with industrial and BTS sections. The map also includes laser redirect. The only hazards are, well, just don't fall. Most areas are above average in size, but some are very large. This makes for good visuals, which I hope you enjoy. This one was almost one month in the making. The level of difficulty is easy to medium. This way everyone can enjoy playing whether you're novice or expert. Alright, well, let's get started, shall we? Interesting. No music, just atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen pipes like that before. That's interesting. Alright, so, we got the light bridge to start off with. Let's go ahead and walk onto it. Make sure we don't fall. Head up there. And... I guess head through here, right? Not much else we can do, really. Hmm. Actually, we can't do that right now. Oh, oh, I didn't even consider the fact that we could see through this. I'm so used to where you can't see through it. Alright. I guess let's just start over at this point. Yeah, I didn't think I could see through that, in terms of shooting a portal through it, I mean. Didn't think I could shoot through it, rather, because I could see through it! I couldn't- I didn't think I could shoot through it. Odd, why is that antline end at the wall? I guess it's gonna open up, or something? That would be my guess. Right, now we can put this here. That unlocks that. And the easiest way to do this is to go back up there again. There we go. And then I guess we just... Okay! Sure, that answers my question. <laughs> That's not what I expected. Hello there. That one looks kind of candy-like. It's like a piece of candy. Interesting. I'm glad that Skyferret knows how to make the- the proper campaign-style cubes in these tubes, and not the noisy kind. I guess we're walking down here, right? There's an ominous red glow down there. Don't know if we're heading there or not. Platform there with a door that has no door handle. Double A. Oh, well, this is odd. This is not an elevator, right? Can't be. What does this do? Oh! Oh, it calls an elevator. Okay. That makes much more sense. That sound effect is the sound of GLaDOS coming on and off. Talking. Like, I keep expecting dialogue to happen after I hear that sound effect. Why is this designed this way? <laughs> Ooh. Now that is interesting. So we have, like, a choice of where to go, almost, right? Unless I'm misinterpreting this. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Come with me, chair. You and I are going on a little bit of an adventure here. To see if you fizzle. And you do. Oh, I just passed right through the... tube. Okay. Seems like this is our ultimate goal, right? Yep. Hmm... Well, I guess we can get back in there easily enough, right? 
Or maybe not. Is it even possible to get in there? Now you got me curious. Is this even the puzzle we're gonna be at, at some point? Hmm... I don't see a way to get in there right now. Maybe when we use the other light bridge or something. Catwalk up there. Thought I saw something in there. Hmm. This reminds me of one of the above aperture maps. I think there's like a, something almost exactly like this in one of them. Right, now what? I guess we want to point the laser at something? Oh, that! Okay, I didn't- I didn't even realize. Uh, can I do this without killing myself, please? Just barely. Just barely. Um... And then I guess we get rid of the cube? Get a new one? Yes, indeed. Ooh, and then are we gonna... get back over here? <laughs> that was funny the way the cube tumbled onto the light bridge like that. Is this going to allow us to finally get in here? No, my hopes are dashed. Oh, I can't even put the cube through here. Huh. Wait, what? How is this working? <laughs> How is the door not blocking the light bridge? I didn't even... notice... until now. Odd. Yeah, it blocks the cube, but not the light bridge? How very strange. Alright, so. It is not immediately clear to me. I guess we're not going into that puzzle, then. Okay, you've got me really, really interested now. Cause if this is really just... A, like, a decorative thing to give us a light bridge for a moment... Then again, I don't see much of a puzzle happening in here. Yeah, I guess it's just decorative to give us that light bridge. I might reload when we get to the end and try and see what's in there. means... oops. There we go. Created a manual save. Hydraulics. I'm just admiring all the cool scenery and stuff. That's why I stopped- Okay, I did not a quite expect that to open into a toilet. <laughs> Robots don't sleep. Maybe we are going into there. That's odd. The cable looks like it's been cut. <laughs> yep, the clock still does that. I always wonder why it does that. It's such an odd thing for it to do. Welcome to the future of tomorrow, and the futures, 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 future. Is the door open now? There we go. If everybody knows the futures, 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 futures ah, we are going to get into here. Yeah, if anybody knows what I'm referencing there, congratulations. You have good taste. Right, so.
That makes more sense why there's no portal surfaces there. Hey, look, a ladder. I feel like we actually jump a bit higher. Like, this is normal jump height, right? And then this is ladder jump height. Well, let's try that again. There we go, that's slightly higher. Nothing much behind there. What's up here? Cube? Yep, there's cube. You can block this laser with it. Which turns off that fizzler. Interesting. And gets us another cube? A laser cube, ooh. Alright. So far, so good. There we go. So I guess we just needed to get over there, right? So I think we're... done now? Yep, that seems to have worked. <laughs> I like this. I like this idea of looping back around. That's actually a very clever little thing that we've done here. Hmm. Don't think we can take the laser cube with us. This door is busted. Did the laser turn off? The laser did turn off. Interesting. much we can do up there, from the looks of things. Although, there is an elevator. Look at that dynamic lighting! That is very bright. My eyes! Definitely makes the wrong sound effect, in my opinion. I wonder if I could have made it down there. No, it's got railing blocking it. That would have been interesting, though. Do not fall down elevator shaft. Well, I sure wanted to try. Now this is straight out of Portal 1. Hmm. This is a very thick door! Whoa! I guess it's as thick as the glass here, but... I've never seen one this thick before. Ooh. Well, this is interesting. Cube acquired. It does go all the way up to that beam there, that's neat. Hmm. Looks like that's a place we can go, if you so desire. I swear I'm gonna fall off of this any second. See that portal surface easily enough. What does this take us to? Oh, I didn't even notice this was here. Those are odd on the wall. I always think those are not supposed to be there. This is an interesting little place to be. I wonder. Ha 
That worked! I don't know if it's intended, though. How many cubes do we need in here? Two? Yeah, two. Looks like there's more after that. Okay. So. Let's head on over here and investigate things a little bit. Got some catwalks up there, apparently. Come on. That does multiple things. Hmm. We have a funnel down here. Wonder what for. Grab the funnel from here, or we can head up here. Well, that is not how I anticipated things happening. Apparently, that gap was just wide enough that I could fall through it. Let's try this again. There we go. Look at this. That's where we're ultimately headed. Oh, I actually might be the end, based on the way it's shaped. Seems like we could grab the cube up here if we wanted to. <laughs> oh man, I love that we can walk up here. That makes me so happy. Of course, we got stuff blocking us from going- getting too... terribly... uh, explorative, but... still, it's nice. So, about that panel down there. Mm-hmm. Almost where I was, wasn't gonna make that jump there. <laughs> Just one small problem. And it's a very small problem. How... how does this... how... what? How do you get in this room? There's no door! What? There's no door to get in this room! <laughs> <laughs> they, they just build it around you, and you, you live here forever, I guess. That's all that remains of the person... who decomposed here... after he died. Is this table on a slant? Feels like it's not straight, but maybe it's just a trick of the light. Well, anyway. Hmm. So, how do we get this cube to come with us? Do we just- does it auto-respawn? Maybe it auto-respawns. It does. Okay, that makes sense. Oh no! The invisible wall of death and doom. I meant to say- I tried to say doom and death at the same time, but I said I said death and doom. Hmm... Well, I suppose we'll just have to get a bit more creative then. Nope, can't even jump over this side. What the? <laughs> oh, Sky Ferret. 
Did you not expect anybody to be able to get here? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, and I can see there as well. Oh, that's hilarious. I guess we just drop down with this cube and get out of here, right? There wasn't really much to this area, was there? I guess this... I guess the way I used this panel down here was intended, then. And I guess that face plate is just anti-trapping in that case. Yeah, the face plate must be anti-trapping and nothing else. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Well, that seems to be it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!